Hi, I'm Bill Wilt of Assured Research. Thanks so much for joining this quick hit video where we're going to focus on one research note, one topic drawn from our August 2024 Assured Briefing. Uh, this note is on the commercial, commercial and homeowners property markets and at least the assertion that there's meaningful distortions in the market. Now, the catalyst for, for this particular note, um, of course, the, the property markets of, of great inter interest to all professionals, but the specific catalyst came from two recent um, notes uh, or, or um, articles, I should say. Uh, one in the Wall Street Journal, uh, and I'll read here, um, titled, Homeowners Premiums Are Surging and States Are Allowing It. Another one recently in the New York Times, Homeowners, uh, homeowners insurance markets are wildly distorted. Here's why. Um, and then each of them, or at least the New York Times article, cited a, a couple of interesting um, academic uh, pieces that are in our research note. Um, I'll share with you just a little bit of what we did, um, but invite you, uh, while I'm sharing my screen here, uh, invite you to visit our new website where we, um, in the contact page, we have... And there we go. On the contact page, we have um, uh, a form you can fill out to uh, either receive our research if you are employed by a company that already subscribes to it. It should be very easy for you. And if your employer does not subscribe to our research, we'll get back in touch with you and describe to you how the trial process works. So what we found a bit lacking in, in some of what we read is the um, um, a lack of use uh, of just pure loss ratio experience. Um, the commercial property markets, the homeowners markets, competitive, been around a long time, um, and there's a fair amount of data readily accessible on just their their loss ratio experience, a fundamental measure of their profitability and, and changes in that over time. So maybe one of the value adds here is that by state, we look at 20 years of commercial property experience, a combination of fire allied and CMP property. That's on the left-hand side, homeowners on the right. On the left, and what we've done is just take the loss ratios of each state and just done a percentile ranking of their of their average loss ratios simply to see what we can see and what you do see here uh, is a lot of red that is the among the highest on a percentile basis loss ratios in the gulf region and in the middle of the u.s and uh, you see in the mid-atlantic uh, and particularly the new england states you see some pretty cool uh loss experience cool as in is in not hot hot uh, lower uh loss ratios among the lowest in the country. Interestingly, along the Gulf Coast, perhaps because of a lack of, of major hurricanes hitting, major hurricanes hitting there um, in uh, our 20-year period, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina uh, all have below average uh, loss ratios. I know they've been uh, suffered the adverse effects of, uh, of hurricanes, but uh, nevertheless, uh, their loss ratios are lower. Um, it's, it's interesting how similar that is in the homeowners uh, marketplace. Um, loss ratios in the Gulf and kind of in the center of the country, uh, among the highest on a percentile basis over 20 years. Again, very cool in the mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. And with those same states, Virginia, North Carolina, Virginia, North and South Carolina, faring well. What we thought it might be interesting to do is to ask the question, which states are uh, over these 20 years in the uh, the best, that is the green um, uh, quartiles, loss ratio quartiles uh, on, on both homeowners and CMP or, and uh, commercial, and which states are uh, in the top quartile, 75th or higher percent uh, uh, loss ratio experience, again, over these 20 years. Um, this kind of just illustrates and kind of starker relief what we were seeing on the uh, previous page. The Gulf, middle uh, middle uh, of the U.S., and and then the, the good loss, uh, lower loss ratio experience, pretty consistently in the in the mid Atlantic and and maybe here here it shows us New England. Um, there are lots of reasons, of course, that uh, this could be the case. Um, competition in the, you know, the Gulf and the Middle Atlantic states, the nature of the perils themselves, um, the regulatory regimes could be uh, playing a role. Um, and, and certainly in what we've spent a lot of time on over the last couple of years uh, is focusing on the changing uh, changing nature of the exposures, especially in, in the, um, we know about hurricane 
hurricane exposure, of course, and people moving to the coast. But maybe more more recently, in the last handful of years, you've had a lot of population growth in city centers and, and in ex suburbs and exurbs uh, in the middle part of, of the U.S., and that's creating a bullseye for severe convective storms. Which number, by the way, in the in the you know the thousands uh, every year. So there's a lot of actuarial experience. Um, to understand the nature of the peril and, and kind of its damage ability function, we've really got to get a, our handle as an industry on the changes uh, changes in exposures and, and how to address these kind of micro concentrations. There's a lot more in the uh, research note. We hope you uh, can uh, get to our website, sign up for that form, and, uh, and start enjoying the research if your company subscribes. Thanks so much for uh, this, and have a great rest of your day.